So the question is, which technological development do you think is most important right now and why? Uh, it's definitely artificial intelligence. The quantum field of studies is probably the most important aspect of technological advancement right now. For me, it is quantum computing. Personally, I think the best course of action is to not shun the development of AI. To me, it's an expected thing to advance humankind in an entirely different dimension of new possibilities. AI may very well be one of the 21st century's big gifts, if not the biggest. For the reason we're now as a society ready to accept things we were convinced to be impossible are possible. Ultimately, this is how science for the welfare of the people works. Hello, and welcome to the Hacker Noon podcast. I'm Natasha, or am I? Both yes and no, I suppose. Yesterday, I trained a machine to overdub my voice so that I could make podcasts without the effort of having to plug in my microphone to record original audio. To be more specific, I taught to scripts lie about artificial intelligence to create ultra-realistic text-to-speech of my own voice in the hopes that I may enjoy the distinctly out-of-body experience that a state-of-the-art voice synthesis made just as simple as typing a sentence into a text editor. So, what do you think of the new Robot Me? I might be biased by saying this, but I think it's definitely artificial intelligence. Well, you've most certainly hit the nail on the head with that one. Rishabh Anand? Tell us, what do you do when you're not calling podcast hosts out for being robots Rishabh Anand? I am a machine learning research student and current undergrad at the National University of Singapore. And I have been nominated for Contributor of the Year in the Cloud Computing category. Congratulations on your Nuni nomination. I have heard those Hacker Noon Awards are very prestigious. In fact, appearing before my robot eyes now is a shameless plug address to our wonderful listeners. Go vote for 2020's Best in Technology today at nunis.tech. Back to you, Rishabh. I believe my initial and somewhat annoyingly vague question was, what do you believe to be the most important technological innovation right now and why? As a machine learning person, I might be biased by saying this, but I think it's definitely artificial intelligence. I'm flattered. I see a lot of potential in the field. It's rapidly growing. And over the years, if we see the trends, more and more people are showing interest towards it. AI is something that has penetrated almost every industry known to man uh, and almost all personal aspects of life. I would be inclined to agree. You certainly have my attention. To some great extent, it's making the lives of people much more convenient you don't say. As the state of technology progresses, we're seeing some insane applications in other fields, really amplifying human potential. Bold claim. Do you have any examples? We've seen huge positive impacts in education, uh, health and patient care, agriculture, bioinformatics, uh, and now, like never before, even the arts. Musicians are now using AI to complement their work with some fresh tunes and beats that no one could have ever thought of. That's right. In fact, I'm currently reading a book called The Creativity Code by Marcus Dusorto, which is all about how AI is learning to write, paint, and think. It's crazy. I wonder, what will the Black Mirror episode on this tech look like? There is quite a bit of backlash surrounding the proliferation or, or such a rapid proliferation of AI technology, especially when it comes to the impact on humans from unemployment. Don't say that. Hacker Noon pays me in part to host a podcast I just taught a robot to do. To uh, uncontrollable bias in these automated systems. There are so many other issues out there, and for most of them, AI is at their roots. So what's your advice to the people who listen to this podcast? Those who work in tech, building both the back and front ends of our collective futures. How do you see the future unfolding before us? Personally, I think the best course of action is to not shun the development of AI, but to work with the affected parties to reduce or mitigate the downside. At the end of the day, AI is a double-edged sword. There are benefits. There are disadvantages. It, it comes with anything in tech. I think it's a good move on our part to try accommodating AI may very well be one of the 21st century's big gifts, if not the biggest. Uh, and it's wise to see what the future holds instead of hiding in fear. Ultimately, this is how science for the welfare of the people works.
And I think it's a good idea to follow along that same tradition or the same path. Rishabh, thank you very much for your contribution to this conversation around the future of technology as it pertains to artificial intelligence. Next up, we have another familiar voice and contributor to the Hacker Noon podcast. Greetings, I'm Vladimir Sp- and I'm the head of corporate affairs at One Ether Digital. I'm nominated for contributor of the year in politics as well as blockchain. Vladimir, what have you got your eye on this year and beyond? The quantum field of studies is probably the most important aspect of technological advancement right now for the reason we're now as a society ready to accept things we were convinced to be impossible are possible, even if in most scenarios these things tend to bear vaguely unpredictable consequences. Very mysterious indeed, Vladimiros. For those of you who may or may not be wondering what the hell is quantum right now, allow me to Google that for you. Quantum computers perform calculations based on the probability of an object state before it is measured, instead of just ones or zeros, which means they have the potential to process exponentially more data compared to classical computers. It appears that not only are quantum computers expected to reduce power consumption from 100 to 1,000 times, but could also speed up the learning process of AI, thereby reducing thousands of years of learning to mere seconds. It's so exciting. I'm Aditi Patnagar, nominee for Hackland Contributor of the Year in Technology Award. So the question is, which technological development do you think is most important right now and why? Uh, it can be a personal preference, but for me, it is quantum computing. It's so exciting. It will significantly change the way computers operate today, uh, things which we can do. Not to forget the existing state of cybersecurity and encryption algorithms might go for a task with the speed that quantum computing can provide us. So to me, it's an expected thing to advance humankind in an entirely different dimension of new possibilities. Thank you, Aditi Bagnagar, Vladimiros Pilavanidis, and Rishab Anand for your insights. Don't forget to vote for these technologists and 2,000 more at newnews.tech today. Before voting closes on the 12th of October 2020, my name is Natasha Nell. Well, sort of, you've been listening to the Hacker Noon podcast. You can get more terminal green goodness over at hackernoon.com. See you on the internet.